Welcome back, everybody. This Week in America on the Blue Funk Broadcasting Radio Network. Great to have you with us on the program today. As mentioned in the beginning, interesting segment we're going to do. Sally Asher is our guest coming to us via Skype from Australia. Sally is a health scientist, weight loss coach. She wrote Losing It in France, Secrets of the French Diet to share her story, help others discover the secret to living the good life while losing weight naturally. Sally Asher, welcome to This Week in America. Great to have you with us. Thank you, Rick. I'm delighted to be with you. Your story is like so many others. We battle our weight. You did it through the teen years, most of your 20s. You were spent uh, with the yo-yo dieting, the whole thing. And then suddenly you moved to France. You're able to lose 25 pounds. You've kept it off for the last 10 years. Let's talk about growing up, the food problems you had, again, so common to, to many of us, and then what actually happened in, in France where you were able to lose the weight and keep it off. Sure. Well, what happened was um, growing up, you know, very early on, I learned that food meant love and I learned to, you know, um, I was rewarded with food. I was comforted with food and I always loved food and I loved eating. Um, what happened when I hit my teens is I started to gain weight and I started to um, crash diet, start these restrictive diets that, you know, in an attempt to um, manage my weight and it actually made the problem worse because when I went on these diets, I actually felt, um, you know, punished, I felt deprived, right. I felt guilty and it actually led to more rebound overeating. So I was caught in this cycle of yo-yo dieting and I really just was fed up with not being able to manage my weight and just wanted to eat what I loved and, and eat with, with, you know, pleasure. And when I met a Frenchman in, in um, Melbourne, Australia, and we moved back to Paris to live with his family. You know, a few weeks into the relationship, he told me that I ate too much, too fast and too often. And I said, but I'm, you know, and, I, and that I needed to lose weight. And I said, but I'm trying, but I just can't. And um, what happened when I moved um, back to Paris um, to live with his family is I started to notice how the French eat and really... Um, observe that they really only eat when they're hungry, they sit down and eat with their full attention and they stop when they're satisfied. So I quit dieting and started to do the same. And it meant really, you know, that sort of just the th they, they mainly stick to three meals, sitting down, eating with my full attention, eating foods that I love. So not being afraid to eat bread or cheese or even chocolate and drink a little wine, everything in moderation. And I found the weight started to come off. I walked a lot in Paris like they do, being naturally active. And then just, you know, the weight came off. It was pleasurable. I didn't feel deprived. I wasn't dieting. And with those habits, I've been able to maintain that for over 10 years now. And really just um, putting food back in its proper perspective, not using it for emotional reasons, just eating you know, mainly due to physical right. reasons. Sally Asher is our guest on This Week in America. Our website is thisweekinamerica.us. Sally's web website for coaching, and she deals with individuals one-on-one -on -one through the Internet, dealing with people all, basically worldwide. It's sallyasher.com, A-S-H-E-R.com. The book, Losing It in France, is available at her website, losingitinfrance.com, as well as Amazon, Barnes & Noble. Go to our website. You can get information uh, and link up directly with Sally and, and get that. And you, you mentioned something which I found interesting, that once you uh, allowed yourself to eat some of the foods that you loved, and these are the foods that would scare us before, that suddenly that hold over them was gone. You can eat it in moderation, and it, it really loses that, uh, that hold that it has on you. Exactly. I think that the reason why we overeat certain foods is because we don't believe we should be eating them in the first place. And as we know, just as in physics, resistance creates force. So when you think you can't have something, you want it even more. And it actually makes the, those certain foods have more power over you. So then you find you, you can't eat just one cookie, you, you want to eat the whole packet. Whereas when you know that you can have a cookie again um, when you really want it, then it's easier to stop at, say, one or two and eat moderately and just keep those portions moderate. And um, it's not about fearing these, you know, chocolate or cheese or bread or wine. You know, the French don't fear food. In fact, they eat with great pleasure and they really, really focus and thoroughly taste their food and enjoy it. And it's one of life's great pleasures. So when you put food into um, its popular perspective and you use it you know for fuel and for pleasure but not as a coping mechanism then you'll find that um, moderating your intake is is a lot easier 
We've got a couple minutes left. Our time would go by quickly. We'll have Sally back on another program. But you've got the Thin for Life program. That information is available at sallyasher.com. What are some of the, the cues that you use? What are some of the tricks that you use to, to help people actually lose the weight and be able to keep it off without being on a restrictive diet? Well, the first trick is really um, not to try to give up anything. In fact, I, 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 I get people to eat with... Um, structure and you know really and balance and so I, I just get them mainly to stick to three meals and to drink as much as they want uh, non-calorific drinks in between but really just when they sit down and they eat with their full attention you know without distractions really focusing on the food really make an effort to cook for yourself at home and um, eat fresh seasonal produce and you know to eat um, when they're hungry, so sit down to the table hungry, listen, eat slowly, listen for that whisper of satiety and stop when you're satisfied rather than stuffed. If you eat fast, if you eat while distracted, you'll probably pass the point and um, you'll be overly full and uncomfortably full. And so it really is important to focus on the meal as you eat and then to stop when you're satisfied. That's a really important one. A lot of people eat while distracted and they keep eating past that point and um, it really then you end up eating too much. I think if you take anything away from the program today, it's mindful eating, and you keep talking about that in, uh, in the book and online at sallyasher.com, and the book is Losing It in France. So often we're mindlessly eating. I don't know how many times you finish eating something and you really didn't enjoy it, and you talk about full attention is important to the food, tasting it and enjoying it. So basically mindful, be aware of what you're doing, enjoy it when it's over with, move on. Exactly. I think, you know, um, it's all that mindless and non-hunger eating that really puts on the weight. If you actually eat when you're hungry, stop when you're satisfied, enjoy it and focus on it, thoroughly taste your food, then you will not have a weight problem. The book is called Losing It in France. Our guest on the program has been Sally Asher. She's available for coaching, consulting. You can find that information at sallyasher.com. The book is available at the website, losingitinfrance.com. Great tips on the website as well. You can go to Amazon or Barnes & Noble and buy it. You can go to our website, This Week in America, as well, and get information and link up directly with Sally. Sally, thank you for joining us on the program. Look forward to having you back. Got many more questions because it makes sense. What you're saying makes sense, and for Sally, it's worked been able to take thank off the pounds and to keep it off. Sally, thank you for joining us. Thank you, everybody, so for much. listening this week in America and the Blue Funk Broadcasting Radio Network.